Hi, I'm Alex Arno from Dogmatic Records. Dogmatic was initially set up to promote new artists um, coming onto the scene rather than using the same artists that were around. I, I actually wanted to create um, just this platform, just this this kind of new label with new artists that, that could get to the level of, of the existing artists that were out there. But um, I didn't want to do the same thing as everybody else. So it, it initially started like that, and, and from that it spawned uh, Maya Jane Coles and um, Dusky and um, Stoiche, Kuba Soika, who, who were all kind of new artists that have gone on to do quite well recently. So that's that's what it was set up to do. But it's kind of evolved now into into international producers wanting to be involved. And but I do still keep an eye out for um, new talent coming on the scene. For sure. Yeah, I do all the A and R in for the label. And um, yeah, you know, um, you know, I, I come from the dance floor and and from a DJ point of view and, and from a record shopper's point of view. So. Um, when I listen to music, I kind of, you know, I come from a buyer's point of view and a DJ point of view. So uh, if it passes all those criteria, you know, and and I like the track, then yeah, it makes it on the labels. I wouldn't say Dogmatic has a sound, like the, the sound of the label is the artists, but I guess what we choose is in, in, in whatever genre of house it is, kind of has a certain swing or you know has to kind of make us move so it kind of has that kind of criteria in that it's like um you know it can be whatever it wants to be but it has to make us dance at the end of the day um yeah i've been producing for a while but i've been in this particular studio for the last three years um finally found a space we're happy with and and we built it all up from scratch it was just an empty warehouse and uh, Darren Noons and I, well, mainly Darren Noons, built it from scratch. Um, so we've got a live room, a control room and a record room. Yeah, I do a lot of engineering here, not necessarily for the label. Um, I obviously do all my own stuff in here, but I do engineer for the people and mix down for the people. Um, when it comes to the label, I'd like not to have too much to do with the releases. Then it's a, just a pure platform for other people rather than than me being involved in every release that's out somehow. So, um, yeah, a lot of work gets, gets done in here and collaborations and, uh, and late solo sessions. <laughs> Initially, we had the foam set up, you know, the, the kind of standard, you, you know, you kind of think you have to foam the place out and in certain areas, you know, to get that sound. We kind, kind of works to, to some kind of extreme, but um, we find that you know, you, you kind of sat in a big low pass filter and, and when it came to mix downs, I wasn't quite, when I was taking the mix somewhere else, it wasn't quite the same as it was in the studio and it was quite worrying. I really had to battle with things uh, quite a lot. Um, you know, take things into the car, onto my system at home, onto other people's systems and and try and get a gauge of, of what I was doing in the studio. And um, yeah, it, it was a little bit of a nightmare, to tell you the truth, yeah. And when we installed the acoustic treatment, I noticed the sound of the room was different. Just uh, when when we spoke in here, just the room sounded really different. Um, so when it comes to doing mix downs, um, I was really I was really surprised, but in a in a nice way how how tight everything sounded, how tight the sound sounded, and how much better the speaker sounded, and how true the sound was finally where, where I could do a mix in here and take it on another, on another system or in the car and and I've got exactly the same the same mix in the car and the same mix in my house like as I do in the studio. So um, it, it's, it's just a pleasure to work with now. Like I kind of look forward to doing the mix down now. I've done about three or four um, for other people at the minute. I've, I've just started one of mine. So. By this time, I would be tearing my hair out, but um, at the minute, it, it's it's pretty spot on for me. Yeah, yeah, I've got a lot of hardware, and the way I work, the computer isn't really the main focus of the studio. The the hardware is so the computer is is is, is right at the end there because it's 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 the thing that I go to last. I normally turn all the machines on and 
and and play around with them, you know, before I even turn the computer on, you know. So um, the computer is really secondary. So for me, it's really, you know, there's there's different areas of the room as it's a U shape. It's a space that I walk into. So you know, I play a keyboard on that side, a keyboard up top, and another keyboard here. And set off some drum machines on this side. So it's really important for me to have. Um, to have a kind of a sweet spot but all over the studio which i couldn't really achieve with a load of foam you know ev everywhere I'm, i've moved into the room would kind of be a different sound so with the, the acoustic treatment i seem to have a sweet spot wherever i move into into my studio you know so so something i play over here will sound sweet when i come over here and and, and add some drums or, or or you know some some bass on this sound everything I'm not surprised by moving around the room because sometimes you get trapped into you've got a little corner and that's how it sounds and you think yeah that sounds great and when you actually move into the middle room it, it's like it's a it's kind of a completely different sound because you you're in kind of a trap which kind of enhances you know um, the sound of, of stuff sometimes so to be able to to have a sound and walk to the across the, the other side of the room and 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 that sound still sound the same as it did and as nice as it did is um, it's pretty important for, for how I work, you know, for sure. Uh, for more info on the label and releases and our events, uh, just go to Facebook forward slash Dogmatic Records or alternatively soundcloud.com forward slash Dogmatic hyphen records. Uh, alternatively, our, our website, dogmaticrecords.com. Okay. 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 Touch me. Touch me. Touch me. Touch me.